climate change. It has begun! This is the king of time, man has yearned to destroy the sun. I will do the next best thing. Block it out. Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Mass extinction. Fizz.org headline. Water police patrol drought hit Los Angeles streets. Oh, no. We got water police Uh, now. Good thing there's 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 a crisis so they can (laughs) use the water police. There's a picture (laughs) of a guy (laughs) standing in front of somebody's home. And he's got a clipboard, you know, one of those clipboards that are also little filers, you know, like they open up and they yeah they keep he's papers standing in there. next to a little a puddle. puddle, a little puddle, a puddle. And somebody's uh, somebody's watering hose, like an oh. automatic drip system next to a bush is on the sidewalk. Oh, th- this is uh, blasphemy. Damon Ayala yeah. patrols the streets of drought-stricken. <laughs> He's got his hand up and he's looking off to the side as if there's somebody over there. And he's like, hey, are you hey, seeing this? You see, yeah, you believe come, this? Come on, man. Look at, look at this he's waste. <laughs> so offended at this puddle. I know. It gets good. It gets good. Trust me. Damon Ayala patrols the streets of drought stricken Los Angeles every day, inspecting oh. the sidewalks. Each time he sees a puddle. He stops. Oh, what a hero. (laughs) He is part of the city's Department of Water and Power team, which looks into hundreds of community complaints filed by neighbors each week about water waste. Quote neighbors. uh, By the way, this is this is a this is a snitching situation here. (laughs) It's just a neighbor watering their their garden and you know, some neighbors like you're wasting water for climate. Yeah, we're policing. They've done such a good job in L.A. of getting everybody to police each other. Yeah, it's the virtual panopticon. All uh, you need is one one guy with a clipboard. <laughs> Walking around, everyone buttons up and snitches on each other. Quote, yeah. it's not extreme, but it's something we want them to take a look at, he says, of mm. one pool of water. Quote, pool. <laughs> Quote, Looks like they have drip irrigation on this side, so there might be just a broken connector. End quote. Oh, it's all <laughs> coming together. <laughs> is he a plumber or what is, what is he? Ayala patrol Ayala's patrol comes as California and the western United States are in the grip of a severe years long drought. Scientists say global warming. Driven by mm-hmm. human activity, including the unchecked burning of fossil fuels. Is creating a greater number of extreme events with reservoirs and rivers at historic lows. Los Angeles authorities have brought in water restrictions, such as limiting lawn irrigation to as little as eight minutes twice per week. Wow. Ayala notes down uh, notes down the addresses of properties where he finds evidence of infringement. The first violation (laughs) prompts a warning. Quote. A lot of times they don't know about the ordinance and that's our job to educate them. He said Mm. (laughs) repeat offenders are fined between 200 and $600. That's a lot of money. Quote. I love this quote. We're not looking really for their money. That doesn't, Uh that doesn't get us more water. We're trying to get behavioral change. Yeah. End quote, he says, straight up telling you he is trying to change your behavior. Yeah. Quote, so that way we can capture the water savings from making those changes. End quote. Mm. After a fifth infraction, a device is installed, which physically restricts a household supply. Although Ayala what? says that step has rarely been necessary. What? Yeah, dude. They put a meter and and turn off your water when you use too much. This is so analogous to the entire world sys- control system because Yeah, I didn't know it went this far. Oh already. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cal- I told Cal- I'm I'm not joking when I say California. The weather's been fantastic though, by the way. It's beautiful weather right now. Got to get out of there, man. It's got to get it's, out of there. I do. I go outside and it's beautiful. I completely forget that I'm in a communist state. Um, so that is a very funny joke. I'm I'm glad that you have a so good attitude about it. <laughs> I try. 
Yeah, so it continues. Quote, we've been in serious drought situations in the past in the city of Los Angeles, and its citizens responded, he said, <laughs> into slavery. Quote, and we expect them to respond this time around, too. Uh, the water department says it is beginning to see results. Officials noted a reduction in residential water demand in June compared to the same month last year. Yeah, because it's, it's cooler this year. Uh, but, you know, they don't talk about that. But as the drought worsens, more permanent changes to the city landscape could become necessary. Famous for its rows of palm trees, Los Angeles has also traditionally been known for its lush green lawns maintained with automatic sprinklers. Residents are increasingly replacing their thirsty lawns with plants native to this desert region. And then it gets into uh, some other stuff about um, uh, AstroTurf and, you know, like fake lawns and stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just becoming more plastic. Uh, a planted area can be cooler by, quote, easily 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, than a gravel replacement. And, quote, there's a, the ability to hold on to rain when we do get it so that we can replenish aquif uh, aquifers, end quote. Uh, and it goes on here. Uh, quote, it's heartbreaking to see, but it's also a lesson, she said, pointing to the withering garden. He's talking about a garden that she has here. Quote, that should be our past and this should be our future, Simon added, looking back at the native plants. Uh, so, you know, drought, all the restrictions are there. Uh, I hope this doesn't, you know, and the other thing that's really infuriating being a local here, there was a company that had already done this in San Diego where they built this plant right on the ocean. It's, and I forget what it's called, but it's a thing that basically turns the ocean water into usable water for the city like drinking, drinking water. water yeah and uh the the environmental committee or whatever it was in california you know there's so many layers of bureaucracy they like unanimously voted no and these guys really? that were yeah the, the people trying to help them build this had been at it they've been yeah. at it for desalination thank you the people in the chat coming through uh they've been working on this for like 30 years or something and yeah. I mean, Israel gets like 80% of its water from desalination. Yeah, it works. But yeah. no, the unanimous no from the, the liberal progressive. Yeah, because then they can't hold it over your heads. Yeah, it's a solution. They so can't, we can't you control know. you with it. You it's know? unbelievable. Yeah, the, the, the uh, you know, the emergency is more useful than the solution. Yeah. Uh, and you know, the sewer surveillance aspect plays into this whole thing. Uh, now they're not just monitoring the, you know, post use of your water, but they will control the inflow of water into your home. Uh, especially if you got puddles outside your house, man, this guy's going to take down some notes. He's going to dox you and hey, find you, you believe this guy, <laughs> you believe this guy with his this leaky picture. pipes. This picture is hilarious, though. You could not get... It's like they spilled a drink on the ground. That's how little this so puddle is. <laughs> it is a tiny little puddle. It's moist. It's moist. Most of it is just moisture. It's not even a puddle. But there is one little spot. It does look like somebody spilled their jar of sweet tea or something. Yeah. Wow. Well, good for you, man. I'm glad you're you're holding to your principles and staying in beautiful California. Sorry. that jump the gun there yeah you know in california too the people that get into to places of power especially like la county my gosh they 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 are some of the most power hungry people i've ever seen it's like wow you yeah, especially during covid it was like whoa you know, we knew yeah, we were crazy but whoa <laughs> if somebody wants anyway. to be in politics in california they don't belong in politics in california they, they don't belong in regular society. You have to be a little <laughs> bit crazy. You got to think we're all just numbers on a, on a page or something to uh, make the decisions and stuff that you need to make.